What's up, everyone? It's Dr. Glenn Vo, and I am recording this live at the CDA in California. So before we get into this episode, I'd like to give a shout out to one of our sponsors, Addit. Addit is designed and engineered specifically for dental practices. It integrates with most of the practice management softwares on the market, and it is the only software solution that integrates voice over IP, text messaging, emails, patient forms, online scheduling, analytics, reviews, payments, and so much more. So reach out to the guys at Addit and ask for the Nifty Drifty deal. And I ran into not only uh, he's one of the top guys over at Addit. I like to call him like the Superman of Addit. But he actually is dressed like Clark Kent today. And you guys only know him as a Superman. So, so let's, let's, let's lose the Clark Kent. Let's lose the Clark Kent. Yeah. Now you guys recognize him. It's yeah. Josh That's- from Addit. Right there. Okay, so yeah, he was as cool as the Clark Kent persona. He's the Superman at it. So Josh, man, I'm super excited to be here with you because we're just going to dive into it. When we had you guys on, we talked about what Added does. We'll, we'll get into that. But we gotta, you got to drop some amazing news, man. I mean, yeah. this is industry shaking news. And I'm being serious about it. So tell us about Care Credit. Yeah, so we, uh, we have inked a, a partnership with Care Credit. It's really big time. We've essentially integrated Care Credit into Added software, and wow, that is monumental. It's the first time Care Credit's ever done this yeah. with a patient communication company, um, so it's giving us a first to market experience here. But basically, what we've been able to do, they have a a feature called Batch Quick Screen, and what it does is it scans a practice's active patient database and tells you of those patients if any of them are existing Care Credit card holders or if they are pre-approved by Care Credit and for what amount. We've integrated that feature into our analytics and into our morning huddle. So when you are going through your morning huddle, you see what patients are coming in, you know, what services they're coming in for, maybe if they owe you money, you're also going to be able to see whether or not they're a Care Credit card holder or if they are pre-approved by Care Credit, which then when you are going to present treatment to that patient, you've already got a really good idea of what this patient's going to be approved for when you're pitching those types of things. It also, with our payment options, with our text to pay, you're going to be able to text out a statement to a patient. And if they are a care credit card holder or pre-approved by care credit, it'll actually give them the option to pay via care credit. Wow. Which is amazing. So a lot of cool stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty groundbreaking. When is that, um, when is that going to go live? It's live now. It's really? live now. So we, uh, we've got about 120 clients already using the software. There's already been about $100,000 in care credit transactions done through Addit in the first three weeks. Um, so we've got about 20 new clients uh, a week that are integrating their care credit with Addit. Wow. So, I mean, it's, it's been awesome so far. So, you know, I want to piggyback on the, first of all, this is big news because this has never been done before. Um, and the fact that they trusted you guys should really tell you guys all that there is to know about Addit, right? Again, it's a trusted resource there. And what I love about Addit is that you guys have not just one thing, but multiple things. And the fact that you guys have this integration with Care Credit, I mean, it's just pretty much supports the fact that, look, you're here to make the lives of dentists easier. And with that being said, you're, it, you're, it's not just a reminder service. It's not just with this Care Credit integration. We're talking about forms. We're talking about analytics. We're talking about a whole bunch of stuff. So again, yeah. go back to, you know, what Addit does for those who are now just understanding what Addit does. I've never heard of them. What for do sure. you guys do to make our lives easier in dentistry? Well, Addit solves one very common problem. And it's a problem that a lot of you watching this are probably familiar with, or maybe you're facing it yourself. You'll have a lot of practices that are paying five to $600 a month for their VoIP phone system. Um, and then you may have another software that you're using that you're paying four or $500 a month to get your analytics and your KPI dashboards, et cetera. Then most of the time, there's a third company involved, whether that is online scheduling or maybe it's some kind of reputation management software. What Addit does is we consolidate all of those different softwares that you're using every day at your practice 
and we bring them into one centralized location to where they all speak to and work with each other. You know, some of the complaints that we're getting is, you know, I've got these three or four different softwares. I've got so many different logins. Even when they're integrated, I've still got to log in and out of different systems. I'm paying different bills. I've got different support teams I'm dealing with. So even when there's an integration there, it's still not truly one software. So we're able to consolidate that. And in most cases, that ends up saving them a pretty penny. You know, consolidating the average practice is saving about $600 a month on their software costs. So it's just one way that you can put immediate dollars in your pocket. You know, when you're able to decrease your overhead by five, six, eight thousand dollars a year, that's money you're putting in your pocket. That's net profit. Well, you know, and something that is, I mean, honestly, just as valuable is the fact that it's one platform. So a lot of times, if you think about it, okay, well, you know, you got this platform for texting, and you got this platform for forums, and you got this platform, and then of course, then you're dealing with care credit, right? Now, if everything was all together, well, if it's all together, it works together very easily. Yep. You have one point of contact. You, 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 you have to learn one thing. You got to reach out to one team instead of multiple things. And I think that ends up saving a lot of money oh, yeah. when it comes to efficiency, right? Like we're not so. talking about just the monthly fee. That's, that's a given, right? Yeah. You're going to save some money, but talk about like the time, you know, the time that you save and whatnot. Um, that's huge, man. Yeah. That's huge. Yeah. So, so, you know, I want to, I want to let everyone know this that, um, a lot of times, you know, again, you're wondering like, well, what's, what's the catch here? So everything's, it sounds too good to be true. You know, like what's all that? Again, tell everybody as far as your fees go. I mean, again, there's different levels of that. It talk mm-hmm. about that, but I mean, is there any other hidden fees? You got like a, no. like an extra, like, you know, special Josh vacation fee that slipped in there. Like, I wish there was. I wish there was because I could use a vacation. It's been a while. But talk about talk about the like the different levels because again, you just we just talked about a bunch of stuff yeah. on top of the care credit integration. And guys, you probably use care credit. If you don't use care credit, you really need to reach out to them because honestly, they're like gold standard when it comes to patient financing. They they do they do this for a long. They've done this for a long time. They're really good at what they do. And the fact that it's just one extra step that you have to take away if you were you working with Adam. Talk about the different levels. I mean, yeah. again, is there different levels? So let everyone know about that. Yeah, well, there's really only two packages. I mean, us, we're, we've been in business 10 years now, and we've kept our prices the same the entire time. We we really try to, excuse my French, but cut the BS out of a lot of what you see in dentistry. <laughs> you know, a, a lot of people price gouge or they'll change their prices a lot. We've, we've been pretty standard about it, and um, it's something that we're really, really proud of. Um, so we've only got two packages. We've got one that is, we call it our tech bundle which is essentially your patient communications and your phone system. So it's going to be your VoIP phones, um, all of your texting, your reminders, your automations, but also things like digital patient forms, things like integrated online scheduling, text-to-pay solutions, things of that sort. The second package, the only difference, everything in the first package is included in the second package. The only difference is analytics and KPIs. Okay. So it's your morning huddle. It's all of your dashboards, all of your numbers, your analytics, um, this patient list feature, which is really amazing, which allows you to create custom segments of patients. Um, but those are the only two packages. And then care credits actually integrated into both. So that's going to ask you extra fee. No. I was going to ask you that because, uh, that's, uh, that's a pretty sweet integration. Yeah. And it, it, it would be kind of like teasing if you just said, I'm sorry, you can only get it with the top highest package, but it's actually no, included. In- it's, it's included in both packages. And, you know, we, we've always done that. You know, we have continued to innovate. One of the, the founding principles of added is innovation. And it's continuing to find things that dental practices need, going out and building them. But we integrate them into our software. If you work with other software companies, I'm sure you've seen it. It's like, well, if you want that, it's going to be an extra $120 a month. You want that, it's going to be an extra $100 a month. We really try to cut through all of that and just say, hey, this is what we do and this is the price for it. And then when we add and develop new products, we're building them in because the idea isn't to go and just continue to drive profit margins up, up and up. It's really just to solve the problems that dentists face. And if we do that, then everything else solves itself. Yeah. They're going to stay with us. We're not going to have to worry about anything. Yes. Yeah. Now, um, you know, the big, the big elephant in the room, and again, people are just curious, is like, okay, well, that's a lot of amazing things that Addit does, right? Yeah. Uh, but does it integrate with my practice management software? 
let everyone know about the practice management software you guys work with? For sure. Uh, in most cases, the answer is yes. Um, so your big players, your Dentrix, your EagleSoft, your Open Dental, we have full integrations with. Um, there's probably 10 or 12 other small ones um, with varying degrees of depth in the integration. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people are still using SoftDent. We've got a SoftDent integration. Um, a lot of Canadian softwares. I don't know how many <laughs> Canadian practices we've got in the group. Um, but Tracker, Able Dent, uh, several there, Practice Works, Denticon. Um, and we're continuing to build new ones every day. So we're working on several right now that we hope to release soon. So here's the thing. I mean, uh, if you think that uh, or you're not sure that uh, Addit goes with your practice management software, just reach out. Yeah. Just reach out to, to Josh. I mean, the worst that could happen is to say no. But But if it's not, if it's a software that they're not integrated with, Maybe if they hear it enough, they might want to do it. Yeah, that's hope right. so. Right. Yeah. Okay. So you know, we're, we're gonna we're gonna swing to my favorite part of every podcast. <laughs> my favorite part is no, no, no. We're not gonna talk about football picks. We'll we'll probably squeeze that in uh, a little bit at the end here. But it's the nifty deal, man. It's yes, the nifty sir. deal. So I love that there. And again, for the fact that all you guys are gonna do is say I'm in the nifty group, and that's all it's gonna take to get a deal there. What can you give the Nifty members here for those who are new to Addit or those who kind of heard this for like, again, we love Addit. We're always talking about Addit in the group. It's always a great solution. I'm always letting people know. So for those who are like, OK, I've heard it for like the hundred time, but <laughs> this is the time finally with the care credit integration. I'll give them a shot. Yeah. What's the well, Nifty deal here? We're actually doing something. It's pretty nuts by our standards. It's a hundred dollars off of your monthly costs. What? For how long? Uh, for eternity. What? As long okay, as okay. Client. Say that one more time it's into the camera right there. $100 <laughs> off of your monthly fees. And, th and that's on either package. Either Jesus. Package. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you this, guys. If you if you use Care Credit, like, dude, I mean, and you use it a lot, like the integration itself pays for itself because it's going to make it so much easier. So much easier for you to sell cases. I mean, it sells for itself. But the fact that he does 100 bucks for eternity, the guy said to himself. <laughs> The guy said it himself. Uh, that is amazing. Okay, so um, that's huge. We're going to make sure people know that. But we're going to switch gears real quick because I love talking about football. I think I found somebody, a kindred spirit, who loves football oh, yeah. as much as I do, who also gets just as angry uh, when uh, his fantasy draft doesn't go his way as much as I do. Um, that's Josh right here. So let's do some, let's do, in the spirit of, we should talk baseball because we're actually in the baseball season. Let's Let's do... Let's do baseball. Okay. And then we're going to switch. Of course you want to do baseball. When, I wanna, you're, when you're winning. You when you're winning. But, 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 but the Texas teams are having a hard time right now. But then we'll switch. Okay. Let's do some predictions. Okay. Let's do some predictions. And guys, just let, let, let you know, we'll do something amazing if this guy's predictions come true. Right. Or if my predictions come true. We'll do something amazing. We'll figure it out. All right. I'm actually really disappointed in Jackson Holiday. Man, he is He's, not showing out. He's dunk it up man yeah and gets it down but then someone told me like his old man had the same issue when he got first blown up yeah so i'll give him that but like dude he's just so young it's, i mean it's really hard to make a call on a guy i mean i know i know i mean they i mean they called him a left just a year of the yeah. minors you know but but he looked really bad dude yeah well, i'll tell you who looked really good the uh, paul skeens for the oh, pirates yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you guys, throw yeah. in some gas. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. So, all right, man. So, uh, we're gonna make some predictions. We we love we love baseball here. We're gonna do some predictions here. Um, who is going to be? Who do you like coming out of the NL? Who do you like, man? Who do you like? Well, you know where my heart lies on this. I know that. You know where my heart lies that. on this. But it happens to also be a logical pick. Okay. It happens to also be a logical. Okay. Pick. Okay. I'm going to have to go with the Atlanta Braves really? over the Dodgers. I'm shocked to go to. Uh, why, 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 why do you feel that? Uh, other, other than the fact that, you know, a little bias. Of course. Know. Of course. I'll tell you this. The Braves, by their standards, are playing really bad baseball right now. And they're sitting at like 25 and 10. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's insane. You lose your ace, Spencer Strider, who's been pitching insane um, before he got hurt. And you're still going out and just dominating teams. It, in my opinion, it's the best lineup top to bottom in baseball. Um, we can score on anyone. Um, the pitching, obviously, we're having to put it together. Max Fried is still a legitimate yeah. ace. Yeah. Um, almost threw a no-hitter the other night. But I think stacked up against anyone else in the division, they're going to be able to score. But I have to bring up something that I think that um, you'll understand as well is 
but do you trust in the coaching? I love the coaching. Okay. I love the coaching. I love our GM. Do you love the coaching in playoff time? I still do. <laughs> okay. I still do. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of excuses you could throw at it to why the Braves haven't, at least since the World Series, been able to get back, yeah. um, big, get back to the big game and get over the hump. But uh, I don't think it's coaching related. Okay. Really, I really don't. You know, the the five day layoff. It's it's just tough to see a team win a hundred something games oh, yeah. and then lose in the in the first. It, it's 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 almost uh, the way the trend has been. It's almost if. The harder road you have, the better you are off in the postseason. Oh, yeah. You know, baseball's always been a sport where if you get hot at the right oh, time, yeah. that's that's all that matters. When we won the World Series, we you guys, squeaked into oh, the yeah. playoffs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you yeah. know? Uh, and we we weren't supposed to be there. We weren't halfway through the season supposed to even be a team that was making the playoffs. You know? But it's if you get hot at the right time and expectations are built. So, But I, we've got the team to do it. Uh, I think the Dodgers are stacked. I think the Dodgers look great. I think the Phillies pitching staff, as much as I hate Philly, and I hate <laughs> Philly, their pitching staff looks yeah. great. They're going to be a solid team. They're always going to be there at the yeah. end of the year. Um, but yeah, I got I to take the Braves. I gotta and take who the Braves do you like out of the AL? I tell you, something in me tells me it's the Astros. Wow. And that's a, that's a hot take right now that's because the extremely- Astros oh, have been playing like absolute trash. Oh yeah, oh, to yeah. start the year. Oh yeah. I mean, they have not looked good. I mean, I mean, sticky glove aside, <laughs> sticky glove aside. I mean, uh, they got a few things they, they shore up, but again, it's one of those things where after the All Star break, we'll see. Yeah. Right. Um, well, those are some good picks. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a, a somewhat safe pick here. And that's going to be, uh, it's going to be the Dodgers, man. I got in one word, Sultani. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, first the of phenom. all, they, they, they already had a pretty stacked lineup. Oh yeah. And you just add this guy. Uh, I don't even know, uh, you know, gambling, uh, gambling controversies aside, right. If he can stop the gambling or, or at least keep blaming on somebody else <laughs> or when. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 Uh, I mean, again, I'd love to, to see how he fares in the postseason. Yeah. Right, yeah. he's he's one guy that actually could change the series by himself. Yeah, right. So, well, you know, he's he's number two in the league to home runs right now, <laughs> behind two, <laughs> yeah. Marcelo Zuna. Yeah, out of Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's, it's wild. Uh, as far as uh, as far as like the AL goes, I mean, I'm gonna go again another safe pick. I mean, I think uh, the Rangers, man. I mean, again, again, not 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 looking good, but but you saw how he, how they were last year. Yeah. I mean, Garcia just became like, he became Reggie Jackson reincarnated. Literally, he just got reincarnated there. Yeah. And so, again, those bats, you can't, you can't, you can't deny those. So, um, so we'll see. We'll yeah. see. Okay. So, football's a little bit harder. Football's a little bit harder, I think. Um, because, again, anything can happen. Um, so, let's just go straight. Let's just go straight to the NFC, AFC uh, representatives for the Super Bowl. Let's go That's right to tough. it. That's tough. Let's go right to it. That's tough. Let's go right to it. I got a hot take on this one. Okay. Got a hot take on this one. And no, this is not a homer pick. Falcons? I'm going to go Detroit Lions. Oh, shoot. I'm going to go Detroit Lions out of the NFC. You, you, you think that uh, that massive contract is going to get golf is going to be like on another level after that contract? I tell you, I love Dan Quinn. Or uh, not uh, Dan Quinn. Dan Campbell. Yeah. Love Dan Campbell. Yeah. Uh, I think they added some pieces on defense that they really needed. And I think they were one step away from being there this oh, past year. I maybe, mean, they maybe, were dominating maybe halfway into that game. Back away. It, maybe. You know, well, maybe. The draft, yeah. You know, uh, I feel like they were very close. They, again, against San Francisco last year, they had a solid lead going in. They very easily could have been the team representing in the Super Bowl. And wow. I think this year they will be. I wow. think the, the mentality behind that team. I think they've got some amazing receiver depth. They've got some great running backs that are going to have even a better second year. Um, they're set up for success. Wow. What about the AFC? <sighs> People aren't going to want to hear it, but it's the Kansas City Chiefs. Oh, man. I'm tired of hearing those guys. I don't want to hear it, but Patrick Mahomes is, he is Patrick Mahomes. And I mean, I think we're watching greatness right now. I think we're watching probably... Potentially the greatest career of all time. They, I mean, they 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 added some significant pieces to help him out. I they mean, he did. I mean, let's 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 be honest. He got to the Super Bowl with a bunch of scrubs. Yeah, I mean, yeah. for receivers. 
And they, know? they added the kid from, uh, from Texas, Texas, yeah. Xavier Worthy. I mean, the, one of the fastest 40, I think the, maybe the fastest yeah, 40 of all yeah. time in the country. Then Hollywood Brown. Hollywood uh, Brown, who has had a somewhat disappointing career up to this point. A lot of talent. Um, I think you pair anyone with Patrick Mahomes, they become a much better player. Um, I think the O-line set up, you got Pacheco down there running back, uh, defense, you got, uh, Chris Jones long-term. They put some more pieces in place. I mean, they got better this offseason, and they are the Super Bowl champs, so it, it is hard. And I was a Chiefs hater last year. I was the one saying, oh, yeah. no way they do it with this team. What? No way they beat the Baltimore Ravens with the run they were on. But it's hard to bet against these guys. It's man. hard to bet. So, so I'm going to uh, gonna start with the AFC because I'm about to, you know, almost turn in my Cowboys uh, card uh, when I talk to the NFC. But I'll talk with the AFC, and I'm going to say I'm gonna say Houston Texans, man. Ooh. I'm going to say Houston Texans. Hot and take. I'll, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Uh, I think C.J. Stroud is going to avoid the sophomore slump. I think he's going to get better. And they added some significant pieces. They did. There. They did. And the thing is, is their defense is only going to get better. Yep. Right? I mean, again, they... I think they overpaid, but I know I could see why they needed to get that kid from Minnesota, right? Yep. They're going to be huge, man. And again, uh, can they beat the Chiefs? I don't know. But if they have home field, I like their chances. You so know, the Texans are the new Detroit Lions. The Texans are the I mean, new Detroit I, Lions. I mean, I, 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 I like their Great coach, coach hometown guy. And, and again, I mean, we got to thank Deshaun Watson for just getting a little frisky in the massage room, man. I mean, that's how we got those picks. So thank you, Deshaun. Um, and then now, so we're going to switch gears here to so, NFC. I, I hate to say this. But I gotta, I gotta use logic here, man. I think it's gonna be the Eagles, man. I think it's gonna be the Eagles, and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, they they had some issues with their defense last year. I think Sirianni got exposed because he needed those superior assistant coaches. Yeah. Well, he's got another year there, but their defense. I mean, guys, how often do you get the best two corners in the draft? Yeah, that a great. I mean. I mean, come on. I mean, okay. And then we we don't even we don't even realize like the kid they drafted last year is going to have another year, you know, on the defensive line. Oh right? yeah, that guy's a monster. He's a monster. He was probably the best talent in the draft. And, 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 and you know what? Yeah. Um, someone who has a lot to prove. That's Saquon Barkley, man. He's got a lot to prove. And again, as much as I hate saying it, because I cannot stand the Eagles, probably as much as he can't stand the Phillies. Um. Dude, I, I think they're looking good. So that's what Eagles and Texans, and 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 I'm I'm crossing my fingers that Texans blow them out because I can't stand the Eagles. Well, you know, Falcons get Eagles on uh, Monday Night Football Week Two. Well, so well, uh, there you go. Well, Kirk Cousins and the boys <laughs> are gonna put your uh, put your predictions down. Real quick. There you go. Well, Josh, thank you so much for jumping on, man. We always love talking about uh, what Addy can do, but we also like to talk sports. And dude, if our picks come true, we got to do something. We got to do something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. It's a long shot, but we'll figure it out. But thank you so much, man. Yeah, pleasure. Thanks for having me. Guys, we'll see you guys next time. 